Hi, my name is John, and today I'm going to explain to you and demonstrate how to make the simple cranberry sauce. I own a small restaurant in San Diego, California. What you need is you need 12 ounces of cranberries, you need a cup of water, a quarter cup of grand marnier or grand marnier substitute, and you need to buy pepper and just a simple saucepan. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes to make it. When you, when you get the cranberries from the store, you want to make sure that there are no rotten or bruised ones inside. So when you open the bag, you want to go ahead and kind of fish through them and see, like here's one, as you see, it's, it's not quite, it's kind of mushed up, so you don't want to use those. You just want to use the ones that are, that are firm. They can have a little give to them, but not, not too much. Pop in a sieve first, and then you just fish fish through them to get the ones that are just a little too 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 done. You can see that because they're they almost look like raisins or you don't want to use these because these are gonna kind of ruin the sauce. You always want to rinse any fruits and vegetables under cold water, never warm water. You want to give it a good rinsing. Okay we're back. Pop this cranberries in your saucepan. What I forgot to mention was you need three quarters cups of sugar. You want to pop that in there and you want to pop your water in there. And then basically you take it over to put it on the heat. And you're going to, to start out you're going to put it at high and you want to bring it to a boil. Put the top on it happens a lot faster. Approximately 20 minutes after you stir the cranberry sauce it should be about done. So what you want to do just before you take it off the heat is you want to add a little bit of the, the quarter cup of grand marnier. You want to stir it up a little bit. And then, kind of the secret ingredient, I learned this down in the south. A little fresh cracked black pepper at the very end on top of the cranberry sauce. It's approximately about a tablespoon of pepper on top. You just want to blend this in and let it, let it simmer for about two to three more minutes just to cook the grand marnier off and you'll have the best cranberry sauce you've ever had in your life. Um, chill it and serve it the next day. The cranberry sauce, you want it to be a little bit runny because it's going to thicken overnight. You don't want it to be too, 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 too uh, okay. You don't want it to be too, uh, 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 too thick. This is the perfect consistency. Consistency you're looking for right here. It kind of shows you just per perfect. By tomorrow, it'll be excellent, perfect. I'm sure all your guests will compliment you on it because it's one of the big, big things that I make here at the restaurant that people always love. I mean, this is for what? It, you know, that's how simple it is. And people love. I don't know what it is. They love this.